and welcome back to Fox Weather. The world's largest active volcano, Hawaii's Mauna Loa, erupted this past Sunday for the first time in 38 years. The eruption could mean some risks to residents there on Hawaii's Big Island. And with us now is volcanologist Wendy Stovall with the United States Geological Survey. And Wendy, thank you so much for joining us. Were there any warning signs that the volcano was about to erupt? Yes, actually, for the past couple of months, Mauna Loa has been in a state of elevated unrest. We were detecting an increased number of earthquakes as magma moved through the volcano and fractured the ground. Additionally, the volcano was swelling outward as that magma was moving into the system. So we were able to de detect that with instruments that we have on the surface of the volcano. Uh, and then about an hour before the eruption occurred, a very high rate of earthquakes uh, started up that it signaled that the magma was moving from a summit storage region up to the surface. And are there any hazards that are posed by Mauna Loa's eruption? Well, the hazard that most people will be impacted by right now is VOG, the volcanic smog. Um, the imagery that you're showing shows a, a very, uh, a big plume. This is the that one there is an older eruption from 2018. Um, but there are plumes of sulfur dioxide gas that are emitted off of these fountains of lava. That sulfur dioxide gas mixes with the atmosphere and causes volcanic smog or VOG, which can be an irritant to people with pre-existing respiratory conditions, specifically asthma. So people might be feeling that in their lungs. They might feel a little um, a little out of sorts or have some headaches. Um, but for the most part, the, uh, that is the only serious hazard that is uh, expected at this time. There are lava flows that are going down slope from the volcano, but the lava flows remain at a very high elevation, up above 9,000 feet currently, and they are many miles away from interacting with any infrastructure, and, and certainly probably weeks away if the eruption happens to, to occur for that long. Uh, from interacting with any communities in the area. No, speaking of that, Wendy, is there any way for you guys to determine how long we could see Mauna Loa erupting for? Um, is there any There's, key signs you're looking at? Yeah, so we can't really predict how long the volcano will erupt. All we can do is go on past events. Uh, in Mauna Loa, typically from this type of rift zone eruption, they occur for about two weeks, so that is a possible time frame. Uh, eruptions have lasted for nearly a year before as well, but we are expecting at this point for it to be a shorter duration eruption around the week's time frame. Good, okay. And one interesting phenomenon is the Pele's hair. What is it and how is it dangerous? Pele's hair is really phenomenal. Uh, to, to witness. It is long strands of volcanic glass that are golden in color. So they have this, this really golden sheen to them um, and they have like bits. Yeah, that's a great image there. Uh, so as the volcano erupts in these fountains of lava, wafts of this Pele's hair just come off and as it's flying through the air, it cools into these strands. Um, and people are finding those uh, in areas downwind. It is glass, so it can be very irritating to the, to the lungs. Um, so it's important to be, be aware of that in the air, um, but it's really it's not gonna be a huge impact to people in the area. Um, this is, these are images from the summit of Kilauea volcano when there was a big eruption that was producing lots of Pele's hair. And right now we're not seeing quite that amount. Good, okay. But it is super interesting to see. I was gonna see. say, it's it certainly looks, pretty to look yeah, at. Yeah, it, it looks really It is beautiful, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, Wendy, yeah. we wanna thank you for joining us here on Fox Weather. All good tips about Mauna Loa again. And we are hoping that that eruption does come to an end sooner than later. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Absolutely. thank you so much. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.